<laughs> My army is getting big. We are now ten people. Into the room. use it until I reach the maximum. When I reach the maximum. Oh, oh, oh. Money, 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 money. Oh, and the tier rune. Yeah. We have to get through all these um, rune recipes. Oh, wait. There's a, there was a big room. I will move. Bubble. Maybe it's the end bubble. Uh, at least it's full of shit. But hey, anyway, it's a big chest. A fermenting potion? Fulminating potion. So, my whole rhetoric cube is full. And now I could see it was okay to enter that room, but uh, well, we're just a normal, so anything I will find it's not worthy to keep forever. So useless. Ah, there it is. Ah, all the 
the liver. Oh. Are we in Nickelodeon here or what? But here, open the shiny tree. The shiny chest. Sorry, I wanted to say true. <laughs> and true is a German word for chest. Oh, my golem died because of the of the poison. He died. I thought we would. The Staff of Kings! You astound me, my friend. You have discovered the shaft portion of a Herodric Staff. I trust you know how to use a Herodric Cube to unite the shaft with its headpiece. Um, yes. And to both, and press the button your craftsman put on the top of that. Hmm? Identify my items. You should do. So, hey, oh, the staff. Mm hmm. I don't want to use it for this. Um, strength, stamina, blah, blah, blah. Ah, interesting how many points of strength I do have. Ah, so sad. Stack points remaining, of course, enough. Uh, yes, so. Defense 64, 86. Enhanced defense, strength, blah blah blah. Okay, I just change. Haha! -ha! For the horns! Of course, for the horns! I don't know how it much. It's an honor to serve you. How much strength I need for the maximum? Ah, yes. So, here we go. Farah. Just. No. Sell, sell. Whoa! And sell. Get out of here. So, we might sell even this and now. Ah. Uh, have the one weekend. Nobody needs. Hmm. Die, 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 die. So. Hmm. It's okay, but I don't really need damage. It isn't Diablo 3 where I need weapon damage to get good stuff. Okay, maybe I think I just need mm -hmm. So on the day Go to Drognan to know ah, he doesn't sell anything hey am I wrong do I have to go to the sender ha ah. greetings trade no the Zenda was was just a potion guy. I don't want to go to the potion guy, I want to go to the staff guy. And I ask. Ah, no he's talking. Huh. Strange bugs. I don't know. So Race Skeletal Mages plus two. Iron Maiden, that's okay. Clay Golem oh, is also okay. It supports my blood golem. Okay, sounds good. What do I have? Plus one to all summoning skills and plus one to golden mastery, so I do not think so. <laughs> dab dab dab. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, so let's move on. Pfft, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, blah, blah. Huh. Nothing good here. So let's move on. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Let's take the pod, not the portal, but the waypoint. It's way faster. <laughs> I really love things to discover like this. Or like this. Ah, flawed topaz. What, what the hell? Don't run away, you're just a topaz. Is it a topaz or a topaz? Like the cereals from Kellogg's. If you remember. I know they still say sell sold, sorry. They are still sold. Oh vultures. Walking vultures. I'm I was like just hey, why are vultures are walking? These vultures are walking. That's just what they do. One of these days I come with my army and walk over. And yes. <clears throat> ah, gold. So, but uh, I think I should take the steps out of here. I think it's a dead end. Um, well, if you look at the blood golem, you really can see that went the dark away Diablo 2 then Diablo 3. I mean, Diablo 3 was not all pussy like some guys said. Um, but I think because of the better graphics, it's like uh, if you ever played um, from, from Blue Blight, uh, Blue Blight, Blue Blight, yeah, no, from Blue Blight Entertainment, the German software, yeah, it's a software, it's a software company, they made games, or they're making games, they're now under the control of Ubisoft, but for the better, not for the worse. I think um, their worst decision was to make Sadness 4, and Ubisoft just bought them, um, and then they made the Sadness 5 as they wanted, and I think okay, the Sadness 5 was the Sadness. I think it's the same problem like, like with the new Ubisoft games. I like with this, with this new settler game. Um, they should have, they should have named it Settler. If it were just um, the kingdom of anything, I don't know which kingdom it was. Then it might, it, it might have uh, been very, very, um, how do you call it, satisfying for the players to play, because they do not expect. Something like the Settlers. They would have just expected an RTS, and that's what it was. It was an RTS, and Settlers is not really an RTS. Settlers is this weird, slow mixture of RTS and city building, where city building most of the games promoted just the army. With Settlers 6, they wanted to get in a different approach, but they really did not find the way around. You you started to make your citizens feeling happy, so they are more productive, they way more productive when they are happy. And yeah, you got that sexism um, debate, because to make a woman happy, yes, you had female settlers. You got them some 
Call it. Um, uh, nah, nah, nah. Some cleaning tools. Yes. It was that stupid. I think they didn't want it to make uh, such a such a debate. I think nobody wants. <laughs> Walked all over them. Killing someone. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they wanted to make a um, debate. Maybe I should just walk around down there. Uh, of course, no good software forge want to make it. Want to have a sexism debate. Only the worst use it for promotion. And I don't think Ubisoft is for the worst. They have sometimes that reproductive image, and of course they do. And also, I mean, look at EA. They reproduce every game. And they don't even do it... And they only do it if it's a real money maker. And even if the fans are wanted to look to command and conquer command and conquer generals especially generals 2 or maybe the command and conquer um, not not real MMO but RT, uh, online RTS guys really it was perfect back then I worked as a journalist for some online gaming magazine called games-magazine.de so if you are able to speak German, they are still very very active and the boss is really a cool guy. You should take the opportunity to meet them during one of the games comes. And yeah, and I was, I really, I really, really, really was happy when I saw, hey, cool, really talented guys, shall work on a new Command and Conquer because I hated Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 a lot. I mostly, yeah, I couldn't get around these um, ore miners. I don't know why. Pretty why? You you didn't need the ore miners. What they basically were doing is um, you build. A um, you bought the mine and with the mine there came one miner and the miner had to um, go from the top of the mine to the bottom and that was basically a 5 to 10 seconds animation and it was boring and although you could build more collectors I didn't know why I mean the only purpose to collect, uh, to build more collectors, was just because um, because your enemy could destroy them. If it only was a building, that should give you an amount of resources. Okay, that's fine. But why do I have to build collectors, and why there aren't no great? Mm, let's say fields of ore, like in Red Alert 2 or in Red Alert 1. Ooh, ooh, the golden helmet! Yes. So is this called legendary? Oh yeah! So we have to... Ah, and sadly not enough strength. But anyway I have to go to 40. So I will put uh, maybe I have to go to fifty. Woo Woohoo <laughs> Damage boost And mana boost oh and the ring 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 the ding 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 And I should Get rid of all of these scrolls. Ah, gold. 
So yeah, I was a big fan, to come back to the topic, I was a really big fan of um, Settler 7. Why? Well, because Settler 7, for me, worked like a board game. Like a real-time board game. And it worked really well that way. You had, you had some similarities. Um, you had the old um, settlers mechanic. The settlers mechanic was um, to build streets and movement ways for your for your workers to bring all the material, all the raw materials to the um, yeah to, to to all the working stations so they can build up higher products for your people to get better and better and better. Ah, the other way through. And um, you had this really cool mechanic of um, two different buildings, like you had the buildings for the miner people, which basically did the miner work. And you had some special buildings like the mine. You needed the mine to mine, of course. Trap door. Down to the ancient tunnels. I don't think I have to go to the ancient tunnels. Oh, search for the claw viper. Temple of the head. Nah. Well, where's the claw viper temple? I think I lost the track. Ah, sadly sad. So I have to go back. Ah. Yeah. And they had all the cool mechanics with the research mechanic where you have this research board where you have to claim all the researches. Of course you could get a research after another player got it, but you got extra bonuses for getting it first. And while anyone was going down to a research um, he had to pay to get research he had to pay with monks. <laughs> well yeah, that's basically correct. During the midi middle um medieval ages. The only persons who did research were monks, and monks researched by looking into the ancient works. And we got all the ancient works because of the Arab. So Back to Settler 7. Um, you had to pay monks to get a research. But it lasted some minutes before you got the research. And during these minutes, any other player could pay more monks or higher monks. Basically, more? Or just higher? No, just more, not. I think both more and higher monks. And if he did, he was starting the research from the beginning, but if you could get it back, you didn't have to go for the full minutes, you just started where you lost. And so it was like an action um, bidding system. Hmm? But it was fun, you had special ways to go, and of course, um, the feeling of the um, board game came because you had always to got some victory points and there were basically these three ways so you had the research you had the military way uh, which helped you to get more um, parts of the card you you could get another you you could get another factor by either um, yeah attacking attacking another factor winning over military military you could corrupt them by spending gold and merchants or you could try to convince them to go to you with monks and beer I can't carry anymore <gasps> I'm full.
basically it was just fine. You had to. You got victory points through all. Impossible. Um, with these. Uh, no, sorry. Mm. And with these uh, victory points. And they also started the battle there where some victory points you just got through um, walking down on the several boards. So like the military board was the sector card, the map you're playing. You had this research board where you got several bonuses for several buildings. And you had the trade card of a fake kind of world that was kinda like our world and you had some trade routes and to get better trade routes you um, had to get a several number of tra of merchants, of traders and not traitors, traders and they allowed you to trade stuff into other stuff and so on and so more but you also got um, prestige for building up nice buildings or um, some buildings that just were there to perfect the view of your city. And of course... Ooh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 And yeah, that's basically it. And Prestige was also some kind of resource if you got enough prestige by building nice buildings and achieving and achieving some golds you got prestige points to um, to set free some new buildings during the game and they had basically not much of them transaction at first but then well there was two major issues with this game. The first was you hadn't a real map editor. Oh no 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 you hadn't they um they didn't hand out a tool to make own maps but you had a map editor. You could edit the maps. You could set different point values for different goals, you could set different goals, you could set the um the the the, 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 the resources you could find and so on and so on. Was okay, but was not good. You could share the version of the card. But, well, it was the same card. was boring, really. I thought it was really boring to do just this. And I still don't know why they did. I still can't get my head around this. Because in Sadless 2 you had the, your own tool. And this tool was basically okay, but you couldn't build cards where you could build chips. I still don't know why. I thought uh, I hear there was some kind of um, yeah software problem that didn't allow you to do because chips only came with the expansion of Settlers 2. And uh, why I men men uh, mentioned Settlers 2? Settlers 2 was the most loved part of the Settlers series, and I think Settlers 7. Oh, did the right way. They really tried to uh, get in the right direction, but with this 
any transaction scheme and and of course with the always online rule they really fucked up because still although we have mostly good internet connections we have many large um, landscapes where you don't have even an ISDN so basically it's too hard to get an always on connection and it makes it not possible to play that much and so, so it was like yeah fuck up we don't need that much uh, customers we just need four <laughs> Okay, I was one of the four. No, it was basically some more than four. Maybe I have to go through the engine tunnel. I don't really remember this. It's too long since I played. And yeah, anyway, Settler 7 was great in design, but poor, 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 poor finance decision they did. Destroyed the game. Sorry. Still thinking it could be a really, really cool tournament game. And it could be even a fun game to play for a near to it. Uh, I mean, you really could make it a board game, it's not that hard. You just have to turn it on. Uh, you just have to switch some of the mechanics basically from RTS to. Uh, Turn-based. And turn-based is okay. I think I love it. I'm a really fan of board games. Hmm. I am overburdened. Well, huh. I can't carry anymore. I'll put that to good use. Good use. I'll put that to good use. No, it's better to keep this. <sighs> yeah, Settler 7. Sad, 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 sad. But I'm talking and talking and talking about the Settler 7. Nobody wants to know. 